Hello tarot lovers, this is Mervet from the Egyptian Mystic. Welcome back to my channel. Join me today on this video where I want to share with you my top 10 uh, full cards. I went through my decks and I tried to be uh, to pick different uh, uh, cards, different images because I find this is a very nice way uh, to learn tarot and understand the meaning of uh, each card and to learn about the different aspects of the personality of the card. And it's so interesting to see how others view uh, the card and how they like to uh, present it in, in a different way. So talking about the fool, we, this is the card that we see most of the time it's he is always depicted uh, on a cliff having an animal with him which represents instincts he wears uh, a, a nice cloth with flowers he has a flower in his hand he has the minimum of luggage because he's a carefree person he's ready uh, to move on a journey and he's full of trust he's innocent childlike trust so this is the normal uh, image that we always see and i picked today uh, 10 cards the first card is this one this is the fool in the tarot of the she and this deck is one of my favorite decks it's one of my top intuitive decks because it's really a very powerful deck so and especially the fool i do really like this depiction just have a look at him he is uh first thing that you will recognize is that his feet this his legs are not on the same direction uh, have a uh, keeping in mind that the left part of the body uh, uh, represents uh, your uh, your uh, instincts and your gut feelings and the right part of your body is logic so you see the left part his leg is pointing straight ahead and that's the direction where he is leaping while the other leg is on a different way so there is no connection between what he feels and uh, what his mind is telling him so i did really like this depiction and most of the cards of this deck are really very powerful you can also see that his red his hair is red you will see uh, you will feel the fire energy he doesn't know where he's leaping. If you look here, this could be like clouds and you don't see what's underneath. He is unaware. He is not in, interested to know where he is leaping, but he's just uh, leaping forward and that's it. So I do really love this image. And this is one of my best um, full cards. And this is the first choice. Another uh, choice is this deck. The Fool in this deck, Tarot de Saint-Croix, and this is an independent deck, but I got it from Amazon, and it has some very interesting images, and I really like it so much. The Fool here is completely different and shows another aspect of the personality of the Fool. Let me read some lines. The Fool is uh, inspired by the Pueblo uh, Indian sacred clown, the Koshra, and he uh, wears the mask of a coyote, the trickster. He represents a playful way to look at a situation. The fool makes a shadow puppet scene of danger. The message is to look beyond our fears to see what really lies behind. So this is, I did, I read this because it's really written in a very nice way. And I, uh, I didn't want to forget any word just have a look at this card because it was a little bit confusing to me at first but here he is wearing you see his uh, that's his head but this is the mask of a coyote and the coyote is the trickster and this is the image that uh, could scare anyone but he doesn't uh, care and you see at the back, the, the road is clear. The full moon is at the end. There is a boat over there. So just don't look at your fears. Don't care about them and go ahead. So that's what I liked about this uh, card. 
it shows another aspect of the fool's personality. So that was my second choice. It's the Tarot de Sainte Croix. And I do really like this image very much. And it made me understand um, something different about the fool. And then the third card I'm choosing is this uh, deck, this card. This fool in the Ma'at Tarot. And it is one of my favorite decks. It is uh, by Julia uh, Kukia Watts. And I do love this deck very much. And I love this fool in particular. Really, he looks so, so uh, calm and in peace with himself. He is content with himself. He's half naked. He's wearing these colorful, uh, colorful garments. His cloth is different. Uh, it's not the usual uh, dress that you could see others wearing. He's always different. He stands apart from the crowd. And um, he has this rattle and the drum. And uh, he is like in a trance mode because of this rhythmic uh, music. He is not feeling what uh, the others around him. And you see here the belt. Uh, these three stars represent the constellation of Orion. And this is the Sirius, uh, the dog star uh, Sirius. And uh, you see here there are three uh, stars also. There are four stars. So all of them are ten. Number one. And then you see here, um, he's really unaware of all his surroundings. And it's the vernal equinox, the Easter. It's the best time for initiation. And so I do really like this card very much. And it is so powerful. That was my third choice. And uh, again, I chose this card. This is the fool in the journey into Egypt tarot. And this is quite an interesting fool also. Because, let me uh, talk about it. It represents Osiris. He's uh, the, uh, the child of the universe. He's the cosmic child. And he's the symbol of wisdom. He uh, is stepping out of the Milky Way. And you see here the Giza pyramids. Uh, the, the the pyramids at the Giza plateau and here again the belt represents the three stars of the constellation Orion and the great pyramid is aligned with these uh, three stars you see again here the the dog uh, star the Sirius and he holds in his hand the heka and the rattle, these two uh, symbols are always uh, held by pharaohs in Egypt. This represents the cosmic uh, magic and this represents the immortality. So it is a very beautiful, powerful card and I do really like it very much. That was one of the cards that I chose. And then you ha I have this card. This is the full card from the Tarot of Transformation. Let me show you the, the deck. This is the deck, the Tarot of Transformation. And I chose this card because it's really one of my favorite cards. I like the keyword here, the question, the important question. Innocence or ignorance, that's the fool. Just have a look at him. I like his image. I like the, the, this mask he's wearing. It represents that he sees what he wants to see, not what others want him to see. You see his hair is flowing like this. You see his heart is like a child. There is a star there over there. And he's just looking, uh, glancing backwards, but he's moving forward. So I do love this image very much. And it's one of my favorite fool cards. And then another card is this one. Let me show you this card. This is the, the fool in the Symbolon deck. It fell from me to the floor. The Symbolon deck is one of my favorites and it's a very, very uh, powerful deck. And I one day I will be talking about this particular deck because it's really very nice. And I like this 
fool because you see here his eyes the way he looks it's sarcastic he's wearing the colorful cloth you see here the sign of aquarius and uh, uranus fool the fool is always associated with this uh, uh, star uh, this uh, zodiac because it's it's uh, all about freedom it's all about uh, trust and doing your own thing and you see here what's interesting you see here the lightning so it indicates uh, uh, danger forward but he's unaware of it and then i like also the his uh, if you look at the his luggage this is an emperor but it's uh, um, hanged it's on the opposite side look it's like this it indicates that he is uh, throwing away all logic all uh, the rules all uh, he's not an obedient person and he follows his own uh, gut feeling so i do really like this image very much it's the fool in the symbol on deck and another fool is this one I chose this particular fool. It's from the Cosmic Visions deck. And I love this image so much. Just look at it. This is the like the stars and the uh, the cosmic. Uh, the, you feel the universe. And this is. Uh, he's, she's falling down. And you see the rays represent all the colors of the rainbow and the chakra colors and she's just leaping forward she's falling and she's not afraid because she's sure that the universe is with her and she will be uh, at the right place at the right timing so i do really love this fool very much and i found it very interesting and then i chose another fool uh, from this deck the Syrian star seed. I love this depiction because it is another aspect of the fool. You see here, it's like a star seed, and you see here the crystalline lotus. The stars are everywhere, and it shows that uh, the inspiration and the the soul uh, of the universe. You are part. You are a star seed. Something is emerging. Something is about to be manifested. I mean, it's the like the soul is emerging and then something will be manifested. So I love this image very much and I found it very, very, very powerful. This is the fool in the Syrian star seed tarot. And also I chose this uh, fool, which I found very interesting. It's uh, in this deck the earth flesh and uh, I can't remember the name oh my god it's the earth flesh and uh, what's the name of the deck earth flesh and uh, bone stone and earth flesh <laughs> I'm sorry I forgot I always forget the title of this deck the bone stone and the earth flesh tarot by uh, Avalon Cameron and it's a unique deck and I'm sorry because I could not remember the name but I'm glad that I remembered it just have a look at this fool she's full of wonder and you see here the oak tree something inside is inviting her to go in so she is so curious to go inside and see what's ahead of her I love this image so much and I do really like it. It's uh, how she's full of wonder and how she uh, does she does her own thing. I love this image. It's quite powerful. It's quite uh, colorful. And it reminds me of this uh, fool also. The one in Alice Tarot by Baba Studio. This is another fool. Let me show you which card I picked. Because I do really love the depiction. Where is the fool? Just a moment. Let me pick the card. Yes, this is the fool. Look at this fool. It's Alice 
when she's embarking on her journey to the wonderland. She's following the rabbit and she doesn't know what will happen to her, but she is so innocent. She's so uh, immersed in the moment. I love this card. I love this depiction very much. Alice in Wonderland is the, the best choice for the fool. So that was another card. I don't know if I they are 10 or not. But anyhow, I think there is another card I wanted to show you. I want to show you this card also. This is the fool in the uh, Star Child Tarot. It gives me the same feeling. It's uh, the soul of the universe. Something is about to manifest. You see, have a look at it. It gives you the feeling of uh how can i i want to put it in proper words magic something magical you have the the soul uh, your soul is full of magic i love this image very much and i like the word star seed i like it much more than the fool i also like it when uh, the fool is called the wanderer uh also another card I, I could not miss is this card the fool in the tarot of the abyss I love this image so much because it's only in black and white and you see she's uh, going to be to step out of this cliff and her hair is just flowing with the wind she has nothing with her and I love this image so much so these i picked some cards i hope you like them i don't know if they are 10 or a little bit or 11 i'm not sure but those are the cards that i wanted to share with you my top 10 favorite uh, full cards i would really love to know your feedback and i think this is a good way to learn tarot and i'm going to do each week a video uh, picking one card and uh, showing you 10 uh, favorite cards like next video I'm going to show you my top 10 magician cards I would love to know your feedback if you have a card in mind just write in the comments and I think this is a good uh, I'm going to write that this is a VR invite to anyone uh, who would like to uh, to uh, uh, participate so thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching and bye.